I'm pregnant. Why didn't she tell you? Good question. Do you think Chris is the father? Me. A dad. Possibly. Possibly not. So she sleeps with a guy she's divorcing and now she's expecting his baby. Unless it's yours. Where's she gone? Uh, London. She's catching the 7.30 train. Is it his? No. That's the whole point, isn't it? Every day that I'm pregnant, we'll be wondering and, and dreading the moment of truth. Well, I can't go through that, Adam. For the baby's sake. What are you thinking about? What? What? Well, you just smiled. I'm allowed to smile, aren't I? journey. What, from the hospital? From the womb. Hello, chicken. Come on. Hi. Hello. You OK? Yeah. I'm a bit tired. Looking forward to a nice long soap. Going off the hook. Nobody to disturb us. babies or adults, but Amy, Amy works for both. Yeah, well, the fact that this kid might be Chris's, oh, God, it's just not registering, is it? Chris with a K, Chris with a K, Chris with a K. You know, I've been thinking about that. God. No, you know, look, Chris with a K, that bollocks only shagged her once, whereas around the same time, I must have stepped with her loads of times. Clearly, I'm much more likely to be the father. I don't think it works like that. Jen, will you indulge me, please? She's mine. And she's a girl. And she's called Amy. Who will grow up to be a world-famous doctor. And she'll travel around Hello. lecturing on the latest medical breakthrough. Hello, doctor! Magnificent! At last, a cure for cancer. Feeling down. And she'll see Gunsy better. And she'll still have time to phone her daddy. Dad, it went really well. Oh, my God. You spend a lot of time fantasising, do you? Yeah. Sure everyone does it, don't you? Jenny. What? Let's get married. OK. No, 
of course not. You're happily married. Well, married, yeah. Oh, come on, Jen. Pete and you are blissfully happy. How do you know? <laughs> Pete told me. And do you know why we're blissfully happy? Has this got anything to do with drugs? No, it's because we're good for each other. I mean, Jen, Jen is a very restless woman. I mean, other blokes would drive her mad. They'd stifle her. Not me, no. I just sit back and let her be herself. The couch potato as hero. You know we're having the hall redecorated. It doesn't need it, you know, but she insisted. She said it was drab. Things needed a change. I mean, I could have argued. You'd have lost. Mm. You see, my attitude towards it is this. What Jennifer wants, Jennifer gets. I'm easy, she's happy. I'm going. Where? Home. Rachel made a wrong. Oh, you're becoming obsessive. Ah, uh, Neil. Can I be practical? Oh, God. Yeah. Right, what are the facts? Rachel hasn't been in touch for, what, six months? With any of us? Listen, she's moved on, right? And I reckon it's time you did, and all. I don't know how to. Start dating? Eh? I'll set you up with someone. Oh, jeez, it's not your sister. No. I know all the single women, Adam. No, I don't, actually. I'll ask Pete. Pete. Terrific. Oh, look, I'm not pimping for Adam. It's hardly pimping. Yeah, but he's bound to want a shag out of it. Oh, come on, what about your friends? Mm, they're all married. Oh, sons. Hey! So, you know, let him have an affair. Oh, come on, there must be someone you know who's up for it. Hey, hang on, hang on. There's this new girl just started at work. Oh, yeah, what's she like? Well, she's right, you know, she's attractive, she's intelligent, she's bubbly. Right, sounds perfect. What's her name? Rachel. Anything of interest? I doubt it, David, they're all for you. I was hoping Rachel might have written that. You just want to know who the father is. Of course I do. She must be to you about now. Excuse me, it's okay. I go to film this evening. Yeah, that's absolutely fine, Romero. I'm going to be back late, but David, you can put Josh to bed, can't you? No, not tonight. Sorry. What are you doing tonight? Nothing. No. I have a job. I'm not doing Ramona's as well. It's a nice study, isn't it, darling? Hmm. I know, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Morning, Julie. Uh, get me the Frankfurt office, please. How much Schrager? And uh, lunchtime today, table for two. Make sure it's Delamici's this time. Thanks. Uh, Natalie's office called. She wants to see you. Fine. Get me the Frankfurt office, please. She says it's urgent. So it's the call to Frankfurt. Marston? Natalie, good morning. Yeah, I'm just on my way to see you. I'm not sure about this. I'm a bit old for blind dates. What? Blind date? It's only a blind date. There's going to be six of us here. Six day numbers. If you don't fancy Amy, you can always get off with Robin's wife. Amy? Yeah. All right, well, that's what I thought me and Rachel might call a daughter. Thank you. Well, it's probably best you don't talk about that, mate. Right. You don't need her all then, love. Hey, why? She's not coming. Oh, great. Don't before I've even met her. Huh. Robin and Sophie aren't. Sophie's gone into labor. Oh, oh, so there's just going to be four of us? Well, it'll be obvious you're setting us up. Oh, this is great fun or terror it's off. Yeah, he's a bit late for that, mate. Come on, you'll be all right. Fine. Don't mention Rachel, OK? Rachel. Rachel. Clever. Right, drink. Slash. Oi, hey, Adam. This is Amy. That's a beautiful name. <laughs> Thank you. It's Amy's birthday today. Really? It's my daughter's birthday. Really? Well, Jew did. To be honest, I don't know if she's been born yet. Or if she's a girl. 
What if she's mine? Let's see about that drink. Yeah, come on. Artists portray the essence of woman as Madonna and Charlie. David, where the hell have you been? Your mobile switched off. Disconnected. You've been drinking? Yeah, since mid morning. You've closed the Westcott deal, haven't you? <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> I'd quite forgotten about that. <laughs> Funny. What were you celebrating then? This morning, I was given this check. Oh, my God. Well, I must be really pleased with you. <laughs> David, this is a huge bonus. Hmm. No, Karen, it's not a bonus. It's my redundancy money. Yeah, she cheated on me with her ex-husband. Just the once, but, well, pretty soon after, she got pregnant and we don't know who by. Yeah. Mind you, he's black. So the minute the baby's born, it'd be pretty obvious who the father was. <laughs> anyway, I... Offered to stand by her. But she felt she'd screwed everything up, and so she left. And that's that story. Yeah, hey, great. Uh, any more for anyone? Oh, no, it's lovely. Uh, she's moved to London to live with her sister. I've written to her every day since. And she hasn't replied. Oh, no, I never sent the letters. They're all just piling up at home. Yeah, think of the money you saved on posting. <laughs> yeah. You could read them if you like. Sorry. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? What? You don't pull birds by offering to let them read love letters to your ex. No, 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 they're not all love letters. Some of them are quite bitter, actually. Huh? Sorry about Adam. Oh, so am I. That poor bloke. He's lovely, isn't he? <laughs> I never saw it coming. Yet the signs were obvious. As soon as I entered her office, Karen, she closed the door behind me. I mean, I mean I've done that a thousand times. To people I'm about to lay off. Coffee? Idiot that I am, I thought she just wanted privacy. About the merger, David. A merger and read takeover. <laughs> I've just been sent the list of who's to be made redundant. You're not serious? Afraid I am. I don't know what to say. You're going to be sorely missed. I mean, how stupid can you get? <sighs> Clearly she wasn't about to say that she'd been laid off. I mean, when people in her position get fired, they're not encouraged to hang around. Security marches them off the premises before they can steal any documents. Anyway, that's when she told me. I don't know what happened. We call it the dead man's walk. So humiliating. Everybody knew what was going on. Well, everybody apart from my moronic secretary. Oh, David, I booked Delamici's for one o'clock. Now, take your time. Would you like me to get Herr Schrager for you now? At least you'll be the rush hour.
sorry, David. <sighs> I suppose you didn't think to cancel Delamici's. So my name will be mud there as well. Well, thanks for dinner. It's all right. Thanks for coming. Yeah, Lovely. cheers. And uh, nice meeting you, Adam. Oh, uh, actually, I am. Um, I should be on the way to. What? You don't have to go yet, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just um, it's getting late. We've got a hell of an early start in the morning. What? Are you mad? It's Saturday tomorrow? Yeah, it is, yeah. And uh, how? Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've um, <coughs> we've got to go shopping. Shopping. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. All right. Okay. Come on. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 So do you fancy a drink, then? Yeah. Are there any books around here? No. Oh. Play no good park bench. <laughs> ah, they won't miss it. No, he can't stay the night! I haven't caught you at a bad time, have I? Hi, Rich. Hello. Long time no see. Absolutely. David, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. You told her! What did I say five minutes ago? To keep it quiet until you find another job. Then the neighbours need never know I was ever unemployed. Rachel's not a neighbour. Anyway, don't you think they'll suspect when they see you at home all day? Unless you're planning to put on a suit and pretend to go to work every morning. Darling, you weren't. Darling, there's no shame in losing a job these days. Most people would love the chance to have more time at home. Why? We could spend more time with Josh, for one thing. Don't you think I don't have things to do? I'm not a nanny? I haven't sunk that low yet. No, he cannot stay the night! You look really well. Thanks. Rachel, I've been dying to know. How was the birth? What did it weigh? Is it a boy or a girl? Does it look like its father? Tell me, Jen, how well do you know Amy? Uh, well, not as well as you. Maybe. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Works for P, recently jumped by a boyfriend, don't know why, that's it. You probably wanted some rest. Ugh. Yeah. You know what you need? What? Huh? A good seeing to. That'll get you over your girlfriend. Now. What was her name? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> She didn't really look the type, did she? I know, God, I know. So, what happened? See him again. Oh, yeah, all right, go on. No, 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 I mean, see him again. And again, and then we went home together. Oh, my God. No wonder you're knackered. I know, God, I'm not going to six months and then five times in one night. Oh, yeah. Even then, I was begging her to let me go to sleep. Sorry, you can see her again. Are you wise? I want to live past 40. No, come the morning, I thought I'd scarp her, but I couldn't. Why? Because we were staying in my place. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I decided there and then, that's it. I'm not going to see her again. Well, maybe give her a rematch in about six months. But then, things kind of change. 
Next morning, I'm in the kitchen, praying for death. I'm about to put the pan on, and the doorbell goes. Karen. Uh, hi. Hi, Adam. So, how did he look? Come on, first impressions, how did he look? Not good. Uh, Whiskey on his breath. Um, Is this a bad time? No, 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 come in, come in. Unsteady on his feet. Sorry. <laughs> and what looked like grass stains on his boxers. <laughs> you look like someone who's given up, Rachel. You think that it's my fault? No, I think people choose to become winners. Come on. Hello. Hi, Narika. How are you? Um, you know. Hello. What's a handful? <laughs> um, I leave it to it. Okay. Do you want to play with Josh? Yeah? OK, let's go. Tell him that I sent you, did you? No, I didn't think you wanted me to mention you unless he did. Did he? Are you all right, Adam? Me? God, yeah, I'm fine. Great. In fact, I've never been better. Liar. Well, I was hardly going to say I'm a bit depressed. You know, I like Karen, but I haven't seen her for ages, and suddenly she turns up to tell me... The baby's yours. Or his. Chris with a K, that bollocks. Either way, she could tell me. I wasn't going to ask. No, no, I just decided to sit there and play it cool. <coughs> Adam doesn't smoke. I know I don't. They were Amy's, but I was breaking it. So you don't mind being on your own, then? I'm not on my own. I'm, uh, seeing someone. You've got a girlfriend. Adam! Are you coming back to bed? Oh, sorry. Didn't know you had caught me. Uh, Amy, this is Karen. Hi. Hi. Karen, Amy. Your new girlfriend? He's got a girlfriend. So, you intended to knock it on the head and now you're very much an item. And you didn't mention me at all. I'm sorry, Rachel. Oh, oh my God! Get yeah. him to casualty, you know, and see if he needs a stick. Yeah, listen, oh, we'll, we'll look after Machiko. You just look after Akira. Give me a ring on my mobile when you're ready. That's
Hiya. Do it, turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, take him, take him, please. Thank oh. you. Hello. Oh, you won't believe. Oh. Where's the rest of the shopping? It's all I could get. We're suddenly living in the Soviet Union. Dark, yeah. Ah, Adam, it's Pete. Please, you've got to get yourself here pronto. Jesus! The hell were you? In your bathroom. I tell you, it's not easy answering the phone with your hands full. You might want to put that uh, toilet mat in the wash. Mm. Um, Adam, I've just seen Rachel. Rachel, where? In the supermarket with Karen and. Uh, she had a baby with her. What did it look like? <laughs> Boy. No, I'm am I its father? It's not that clear cut. What? Look, this might sound odd, but to me, look Chinese. Chinese? How can her baby be Chinese? But they say um, every fourth child born in the world is Chinese. Might be jaundice. Very common. Yeah. Uh, you know, not so much its features, more, you know, more its colour. Look, there, man, there's proof. Look. Photos. Um, oh, the supermarket trolley. Uh, my fault. The, the floor. There, baby. Uh, that's a baby. That's a... Chinese is not an option, Pete. Think very carefully. The father of that child is either black or white. Which is it? What? Wait! Why? Why? You were there. Mm, I think I can guess. I know what makes men smile. Uh, God, no, Amy, <laughs> uh, Amy, wait. Um, listen, uh, you know, I told you about my ex girlfriend, the one who's pregnant. You're not still hung up on her, are you? Well, who know might come off of that? No, 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 God, Amy, no, back, 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 back. <laughs> um, the, the thing is. <laughs> Um, I found out I am the father. <laughs> Pete saw Rachel in town and, and the baby's white. Congratulations. Thanks. So, anyway. Do you want to go and uh, see that movie tonight? Because I've got to go to Dublin tomorrow and I think it finishes this week. Uh, Amy, hello. Um, did you not hear me? Yeah. Well, don't you think this changes things? Well, not really. Loads of fathers who've lost touch with their kids. I haven't lost touch. Oh, God. I haven't been in touch, but I'm going to see Rachel tonight and I'm sorry, but, you know, there's a good chance we might get back together. Two problems with that. First, you're going out with me. Second, what makes you think Rachel wants to see you? Hey? Well, she knows your address. Why hasn't she been in touch? Well, it's a, it's a good question. I'll give her that. I know. It was bugging me all morning until I came up with the answer. Look, Pete. Why would Rachel not want me to know the baby's mine? Because it's ugly. No, Stanley. Because 
She doesn't want me back in her life. She's met someone else. No. It's terrible. I'm sorry, mate. Oh, God, that's not the worst of it. She's been looking forward to seeing you. Talked about nothing else all week, have you, Amy? Yes, darling. Can I get down now? Sure. Yes, sure. What's one bad thinking about? Are you going to see Rachel tonight? No, I can't. I've got to go to the cinema. Besides, before I make a move, I want to know what I'm up against. You know, who is this bollocks? Name, job, salary? You know, when did he meet Rachel? Did they just start it going on? Have they had sex? Are they living together? What is she seeing him? It's a long list of questions. Yeah, no, actually, you might want to write them down in case Jenny forgets. Carl, have you got a pen? Yeah. Yeah, I, under I understand, Clive. Difficult time. Yeah. Well, I... Yeah. Well, I just thought if you, if you hear of anything, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Let's play trade. Not now, Josh. Excuse me, David, I don't think this is right, OK? I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, you slave your guts out, doing everything your employer demands of you, and they think their only responsibility to you is to pay you well. Yeah, not always very well, eh? All right, no, paid holidays, six weeks a year. And four. <laughs> but when push comes to shove, they've got no sense of loyalty. You're not a real person to them. Most of the time, they don't even know you're there. Do you know you are so right? That is how I've been feeling. Ramona, shouldn't you be looking after Josh? There's Pete. All right. Rachel? I know she's back then. Pete's sorry, yeah. Haven't been in touch with Adam, though. No, well. He doesn't seem that interested in seeing her, so... What earth makes you say that? I went round there myself, Jenny. Didn't ask her for Rachel once. Or a baby, for that matter. Too busy flashing round his new girlfriend. What, the nymphomania? It's not his girlfriend. Well, she thinks she is, but he's not into her. No way. Are you serious? Yeah, he'd dump her like that if he thought that he'd get back with Rachel. Would he? Yeah. Listen, I'm meant to be subtle about this, but sob that. Right, what have we got? <clears throat> What's his name? What does he earn? How big's his willy? <laughs> <laughs> Who's? This new bloke, Rachel's. What new bloke? What new bloke? There is no bloke. There is no bloke! There is no bloke. Never has been. Rachel just thought he didn't want to see you. Oh, you're baby. What about the baby? Oh, my God, I knew I'd forgot something. What about the baby? What is it? Boy or a girl? Girl or boy? Boy or girl? Girl or boy? Girl boy. I can't answer that, Jenny. Well, you can, really, because you just look, and if it's got a little willy, then it's probably a boy. <laughs> no, I don't think Adam better hear that from Rachel. Thank you. I tell you what, I'll ask Rachel if she'll call round tonight. Tonight? Tonight? She could be standing on the doorstep right now. Wait. No, tonight's no good. I have to jettison the nymph out tonight. Friday? You're all right, make it Friday. Friday? <laughs> Why Friday? That's ages away. I'll give you time to get ready. What, shower, sit and a shave? Hardly going to take long. Well, you make your place look presentable, can't you? Hmm. Or just clean. Right, now, Adam, you're going to need um, a spare cot. You've got a spare cot? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I have. Right, um, changing station. Uh-huh. Sticking some... Blankets and stuff. The nursery will need toys. Put your rabbit mobile. You can have that, I hate it. Thank you. Right, Gifford. Get that lot, love. For the nursery. Well, go on. Love. Oh, Jan. <laughs> I just think it's rubbish if you if you were with someone and in love with someone else. 
I take it we're talking about Adam here. Figures in the equation, yeah? Yeah, but if you ask me, life's too short to spend it with the wrong person. If you're not happy, move on. Take him with you, love. Love, please take him. He wants you. Please, love, come in. Here you go. I'm gonna be late for work. You know, Adam was hoping for a girl. I was kind of hoping for a boy. Why? Well, then we could get together at weekends, like as a family, and play games. Be daft. What's wrong with that? You against Adam at football? Murder you? Ah, but our little nip is one year older than his. Mm, it's all right. There's always needlework. You don't have to be manly. No. Mm. Thought you were going to work. Yeah. No! She's a green. Javier! No. Mira, ya está bastante. Si tú no quieres ir conmigo, pues cogete una otra chica. Yo estoy terminado contigo. Ramona, what on earth's the matter? Javier, you don't know what to see anymore. I know you. Is that all? Oh, I'm going to my room. Uh, hang on, you've got to take Josh to nursery. No, can go. You go. Me, but I'm not even dressed. David, I beg of you. All right. Gracias. Just this once. Thank you. Ramona? 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 Where is Josh's nursery? Hey, Adam. Yeah? You know what this reminds me of? What? Painting Little Adam's room. No. Oh. Yeah, well, it should do. It's the same paint. Yeah. Here, I've nearly run out. Give me some of yours, will you? Have some? Hey! Hey! I hope, Stella. Yeah, you back off. I've got to finish this wall. Go on, open that other tin. Child. Oh, God. This is magic, you know. Can't wait to see her face when she sees us. Oh, yeah. Pete, um, is this the only other tin? It's empty, except for this. Oh, man, I've been looking for that everywhere. Could you stick it on the table? Cheers. I'm going to have to go and get some, uh... Keep uh, going. You, hey, no, Adam, hey, come here, mate. Um, slight problem. This is a, a discontinued line, and that's why we got it so cheap. Oh. What? What? You mean this is it? I told you not to start another wall. Well, I didn't know the other tin was empty. What's Rachel going to say, you twat? Oh, fine. Well, if that's your attitude, you can finish it off yourself, you turd. What with? And I'll have that back. Excellent. Adam's not happy with his girlfriend. Well, that was days ago. I know he won't have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, that was Javier. We have, um, kiss and make out. Oh, Ramona, that's brilliant. I'm really pleased. David will be as well. I don't think he enjoys doing that nursery run. <laughs> Adam split up with his girlfriend. Do you think he might want to hear from me? Well, you have to ask him yourself. You're invited round for dinner. When? Tonight, about eight. Oh, my God. God, well, why didn't you tell me before? Anyway, you've only got yourself into a state this way. You've just got time to get changed. Go on, Lola. What am I going to wear? Oh, I'm sure you'll think of something. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Natalie. What do you want? Hello, oh, Jackie. Did you have a good day? No? I'm not paying up for it. Did you eat your biscuit? No. You didn't eat your biscuit? Oh. Yeah. David! David! Natalie! Oh, I said I'd find you here. I just had to tell you in person. So, sorry, what on earth are you talking about? Look, I never wanted to let you go, David. You were the best member of my team. But there were some decisions I had no control over. And that's why I quit. 
You've quit? Because they let me go? No, I quit because I couldn't make my own decisions. Now, the thing is, I've been headhunted by DZQ. And I want you to come with me. What as? Well, my number two, naturally. Salary? 20% increase with pay review. Pension? Top whack and share options. Josh! Josh! Got you. That is here. We're okay. We're fine. We're all right. Four days notice and I'm still not ready. Nursery. Check. Food. Check. Shower. Come on, you're all right. It's not due. For... Oh my God, is that the time? What? Joking. Uh, right, you can shower, you can change, you can get rid of some of those little satin nails or hairs. Put the roast in. Two hours before you want to eat it. Gas mark four, vegetables in it, uh, 15, 20 minutes. In the oven? On the oven? On the oven. You bore them? Yeah. Good. Right, come on, Tiger. Better go. Hey? Jen. Thanks. Good luck. and I'm late, so you can't stay. Where are we going? Oh, you wouldn't want to come. Uh, you'd hate it. It's oh. boxing. Nasty. I like boxing. I know. And it's sold out. Oh. There isn't a spare ticket. Okay. Nightmare. I'm oh. sorry. Oh. You've got to go. Listen, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a call tomorrow, yeah? All right. Yeah, OK, I'll call you. Oh, we need to talk, yeah? Bye. Bye. Slam. Jenny's done most of it. Adam, about what happened. Well, listen, I... before we go into that, Rachel, there's something I want to show you. Keep them closed, keep them closed. When you come, keep them closed. Steady. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, you can open them. It's okay, darling. Adam, there is no baby. 
had an abortion. What? Uh, I don't understand. You were going to have it. I, I know I was, but when I got to London, things seemed clearer. It seemed like the only option. No. Look, I didn't want, I didn't want Chris's baby, and I couldn't be sure it was yours. But while well, there was still a chance. Oh, Adam, it's the hardest decision I've ever had to make. No, wait, wait, um, wait. What about me? You never got in touch. You, you never asked my opinion. I had to decide. Didn't I have a right to know? Look around you, Rachel. You let me do this. You let me believe I might be a father, living in hope of the time we would bring our baby home together and put her to sleep in the cot. How could you do that? How could you be so cruel? Oh, Adam, please, I know. I love that baby, Rachel. Oh, God. Is this all my lovebird wanted? And more. <laughs> it's only a room, OK. What Jennifer wants, Jennifer gets. <laughs> hey! Hey, come on, love. Tell me honestly. What do you think? I think I don't love you anymore.